This is a tomahawk. This is a tomahawk steak. See the difference? And definitely see how this one got its name. But today we're gonna to do the reverse sear tomahawk steak on the barbecue, low and slow. Uh, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna reverse sear our tomahawk today. Now what is reverse sear, you ask? Well, we do low and slow first, and then uh, the final minute we char grill both sides for about 45 seconds. So, got the pit set at about 110 degrees Celsius. Uh, rub the tomahawk in your favorite rub. Now, I'm just using a salt and pepper today. I'm using a pepper, an Australian pepper. Really fresh, the aromas are, are really good. I wish you could smell uh, this one. Uh, and the salt is like a, a thin, flaky salt, not too chunky. Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, how that comes out. Now, we've placed the tomahawk on indirect heat, and that so that it doesn't just cook too much over the coals there. It has that circulation heat, which is what we want. We want to go rare all the way through uh, and char grill the outside, and hopefully uh, we can really match what Drew at Cairns Barbecue Company uh, achieved uh, on a regular basis. Okay, new product to test today. I'm using the uh, Maverick Extended Range Wireless Barbecue Meat Thermometer, and these are obviously um, heat resistant to quite a way, hence the wiring. I just got to put it down carefully. When I'm in, and this will start to uh, record the temperature and let me know when it's all ready. A bit of a double whammy today. I'm also going to do some chicken wings uh, using the, the kettle cone, which is a device that uh, sits at the base. All the coals go in there. Huge heat source in the middle. The wings sit around the outside. So I've also done them in the, uh, the Doritos crumb according to the Shuey secret recipe, uh, which you can check out online. But I can't wait for the tomahawk and some chicken wings on the side. All right, it's go time. We've rested the tomahawk for five to seven minutes. We've cranked up the barbecue with more coals in the middle. Now we're putting the tomahawk over direct heat. Well, I got the tomahawk reverse seared ready to go and I've also got the chicken wings done using the kettle cone. Can't wait to play it up. We'll see you next time on the Backyard Pitmaster Series.